Hello, Virgos. Thank you for joining me on Angel Works 3110. My name is Gladys, and this is your twin flame soulmate life partner reading. If you've not seen my videos before, I do tell you what I see here and feel. And on this message, I have two of the same decks that I'll use for the whole overall thing. For the whole overall messages, I will use the exact same decks to see if we get the same kind of energy. After I do the shuffle, I will post the shuffle part at the end of the video so that you can get the bonus links that I post at the end. So check that ending out of this video so that you can get the bonus links. Thank you for joining me and we're going to go ahead and start your message. Spirit, God, angels, and the divine, please help me to give the right messages to the people that are watching this and help us to become better versions of ourselves and to lead others to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, Virgos, we're going to go ahead and start your message. We're going to start on her side this time. On her side, we got the three cuts coming in. Time to celebrate. Celebration. Somebody that likes to party. This is what they're thinking in their head. They're ready to celebrate. They're ready to share their cups of love. They're very emotional. They're happy and blissful at this time. They're loving themselves. This could be Cancer Mercury energy. This is the 30th card in the tarot deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Scorpio. This is the third card in the Cubs family. You could be dealing with the months of March and August, or the seasons of Pisces, Aries, Cusp, or the season of Leo, Virgo, Cusp, when something happened at a get-together, at a party. Somebody's thinking about something that happened, and it's making them feel blissful, and they can't get it out of their head. The Seven of Ariel comes in. This is the Seven of Pentacles. They are thinking of stability, of how to have stability in their life. This is you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Somebody here was planning, strategizing, wanting a stable bond with someone. They were very determined. They had determination in the situation. They put in a lot of energy in the situation. This is the seventh card in the tarot deck and the seventh card in the Pentacles family. This information, if you want more information, is on page 164. This could be Angel 164. I see an angel in this card, so I'm going to read the angel number 164 out of this book. So 164 says, The angels are lifting away old worries and concerns so that your life can improve in miraculous ways so remember that if you see an angel on a card you can use the story and virtue angel number book to get angel messages i've been trying to do that on my messages so i hope you can check that out when i relate numbers i can relate them to the angel messages so use that book a lot to get extra messages now, what I'm also picking up here is this person loves to garden. They, they love gardening. They love planting flowers or having a garden. This is a temporary pause, a welcome, embrace. But somebody here is embracing the moment. They, are, they put in a lot of work, and they're wa waiting for it to harvest so they can celebrate the situation. They're in their head about all this hard work they put in. To it and they're waiting to see something occur from it and they're going to be celebrating they're happy right now for what they have achieved so far in this whatever this is that they put a lot of energy in it could be in a workplace or in a home front or getting some kind of task done this is make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take somebody got this as well I think it was the Aries video that got this and I can't remember who else but Somebody here took a lot of great effort to show someone how much they cared for them. Uh, this could have been actually on the overall message as well. If anybody remembers it being another message, please leave it in the comments below. But this person has put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of love into this whatever this is. And they're in their head about the great effort that they put in emotionally to have stability in the situation. Now on this person over here... 
we have the three of wands somebody waiting for their ships to come in this is the third card in the wands family the 24th card in the tarot deck you could be dealing with a Taurus Gemini cuss person or that season you'd be dealing with February April and March months or this could be Aquarius Pisces season Pisces Aries season or Aries Taurus season that you're dealing with some kind of situation or had dealt with something at that past or going to be dealing in the future of these seasons or this could be just the cusp that you're dealing with but this person is waiting for the shifts to come in because they finally made a decision in something and they're in their head about it the king of Ariel so somebody here is dealing with the king of Pentacles this is the king of Pentacles and this is successful stable accomplished and powerful your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely a generous man is abroad this could be the months of July January or April the seasons of cancer Leo Capricorn Aquarius Aries of Taurus or you can be dealing with double Libra an Aries a cancer or any of the cusp or any of those signs that I just said so a lot of you are building stability somebody here is stable and they know what they want and they go after it they may be slow at it but they're a king they've actually manifested how they want to achieve something and they're not in such a rush because they plan things out methodically and they're they put in the action needed they started something new chose that path and now they're waiting to see what the other person is going to do because here's three and here's three this person's ready they're both in their head about getting to a place where they can both celebrate basically we have the forgiving and learning oh somebody has to forgive and learn as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment i think the overall message got this card as well or Aries regardless somebody here is having to learn to forgive and they're learning from this experience and they're moving forward from it this will be the last video that I do for today and then I'll have to come back tomorrow to finish up the list the playlist if it's not raining because I'm doing this outdoors I am in the transition of moving guys so thank you for following along with me and for subscribing on my channel if you've not subscribed hit that subscribe button please I appreciate it thank you guys for following me okay now this person over here in their heart they are taking control they're looking at this love situation they're very passionate they're an emperor they went through all the stages of all the four elements to become this emperor they've been hurt heartbroken stabbed manipulated used betrayed they've they've been through it all this emperor is taking charge of the situation this is the fourth card in the Major Arcana and the fourth card in the Tarot family. You could be dealing with an Aries. This could be a Cancer as well or the month of April. Aries Taurus cusp season. Aries Taurus person. They are taking charge when it comes to a love situation. They have multiple options. They're always getting hit on. This person's always have an option to leave a situation. But they're putting their love and devotion toward one person. Because they have this deep connection towards someone. They feel... A very strong bond towards someone the power of love the need of careful deliberation this could be a fork in the road recovery from a physical alignment make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love this person is loving themselves first they're trying to bring in the right kind of love they want a divine partner come toward their way oh they want marriage this situation involves marriage they're looking for the person that is meant to be with them that is ready to step up their game and have a marriage toward this person they're looking at this person maybe on this side as not wanting commitment or not wanting to get married this person here could be seeing things differently now and maybe they didn't want to get married and now they're seeing things as maybe there's marriage material going on here and they're finding this in their heart very deeply now over here we got the knight of wands somebody here is not looking at this emperor they're too busy in and out with their passion this person could be a protector of sorts 
They could be protecting their own heart or protecting the one they love and standing up for them all the time. Or this person could just be in and out with their passion all the time. This is the 33rd card in the tarot deck. You could be dealing with double Gemini. This is also the 12th card in the Wands family. Dealing with somebody named Pat. You could be dealing with a Pisces Aries cusp or an Aries Taurus cusp or a Pisces Aries or a Taurus. This could be the month of March. Pisces Aries cusp season that you're dealing with somebody or dealt with somebody. The Empress comes in. Archangel Gabrielle. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious of abundance and resources. Now, this is alignment of generosity, creativity. This is Cancer Venus planetary energy. Life is going to be abundant this time. This person could be a mother. They could be having a birth of a child. Or they could hear of news of someone giving birth of a child. They could know somebody that's about to give birth of a child, or they, they're coming up with some kind of idea that's new, and they're birthing some kind of new project, new idea. And they're very passionate about this, and they're putting a lot of love and devotion to this new idea. They are very loving. They put a lot of passion and love toward everything they do. They love to cook and clean and be there for others very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person knows what they want. They're clear. They're going to be clear about what they want when it comes to a loving, passionate beginning with someone. Now, over here, the obstacle that's getting in this person's way is the King of Pentacles. Somebody that is stable, this King here, the, the obstacle be, could be that this person may appear that they're, they're having their stability going on, but they really don't have stability going on. They could have lost their job. They could be trying to take control of the situation. They could be very controlling. That's the obstacle. This person is wanting stability. And they're having to find it within to get the stability that they're seeking for. The Ace of Raphael comes in. This is the Ace of Cups. So this person's obstacle is their emotions of displaying how they have emotions towards someone. A positive new emotional experience. A fulfilling romantic relationship, deep and lasting spiritual insights. This person is very loving and loyal and ready to give their cup to somebody, but the obstacle is how they're going to go about showing this love toward you. They may not appear like they love you, but they do. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. This came in the overall message, so go check that one out if you've not seen it. You can get that link at the end of this video. If you watch the shelf all the way through, you'll see the link. And that message may resonate with you guys, whoever's watching this. But you got to let your friends help you. Somebody's being stubborn and stuck and not wanting help from others and always trying to do something on their own. And by doing this and doing it on their own, it just takes longer. And if you ask for help, you can get this project done faster. The obstacle is having to bring your barriers down your wall down and admit your faults or admit that you need help in a situation that you know you can't do it all by yourself the obstacle for this person is the tower the tower comes down and with the tower coming down with this person i just feel like there was an upheaval some kind of disruption that caused you to have to move and do something differently and it, that could be the obstacle is that somebody wasn't asking for help because they needed to move and they just did it on their own and it caused more burdens than need to be. The four of Raphael comes in. That's the four of cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Somebody's holding back. Somebody's trying to offer them a cup of love, but they're so distraught and upset about the tower coming down that they don't see a cup coming in. The divine is trying to offer this person a cup of love. But this person's always causing the drama, always causing the tower to come down. And they're starting to go within and realizing, why is the tower always coming down? Love's never going to come to me. When all along, there was a love offer right there to begin with, all along, the whole time. Now, this is the fourth card in the cup, saying we 39th card in the tarot deck. This could be 439 angel numbers, so let's read what that one says. 
439 says, Have conversations with your guides and angels about your divine life purpose and follow their guidance without delay. So you guys need to go within and pray a lot more and be within spirit to get what answers that you seek. This is Cancer Moon energy. This is restlessness, having boredom some going on. Just not seeing what's being given to you by the universe. You need to take whatever lessons that there was that was harsh, that caused some kind of harsh towers to come down, and take them as lessons and turn it to your own favor and learn from these things and not bring it forward in the situation. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Somebody here could have been portraying like you were all everything that they wanted and then you find out differently that they're not all that you thought they were and it was disappointing you. They were always being dramatic and bringing the tower down and it just upset you and brought you to this place where you were feeling depressed and sad all the time. So you need to pay attention to the people that are around you that are false and fake and that tell you one thing but the action shows you differently. Pay attention to that, the obstacle. The obstacle could be that you're doing this within yourself. You're being false and fake to those around you. And you know the truth. You know that you don't really care for someone that much. Or you know that what you're doing is wrong and you're doing it anyway. And you're causing tower moments. But it needs, this obstacle needs to be overcome. Now with the action here, we're going to go ahead and start on this side. The action that you need to take with this is the seven wands and standing your ground. 20th card in the tarot family and the 7th card in the wands family basically. This could be the July month that you're dealing with, the February month, or August. This also could be Aquarius Pisces season, Leo Virgo season, or Cancer Leo season that you're dealing with or any of those cusps. This is also Leo Mars planetary season but somebody here is going to take action by standing their ground someone here either stood the ground toward you or you're going to stand your ground toward this other person here about a situation the five arrow comes in and this is the five of pentacles and you're standing your ground about wanting stability wanting to meet somebody halfway you needn't go through your current challenges alone help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies so a lot of you need to go within and figure out what it is that you want in a relationship to meet somebody halfway. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You have to communicate clearly and talk to this person if you want a strong bond with them. You have to take charge and communicate. This is action oriented. And this is a kind of action oriented. Somebody here may feel like they're the victim all the time, a martyr, and someone's not really meeting someone halfway they're always in a victim mentality but you need to stop living in the past and stop bringing in old relationship habits into a new relationship and give this relationship a chance even though there may have been some disappointments and regret in the situation and falseness in the situation it's time to release this bring the tower down stand your ground and meet somebody halfway to get to this point action over here is the king of cups somebody is being very loving they are into their emotions very deeply this person here is the 14th person in the cups family the 49th card in the tarot deck you're dealing with a cancer a sagittarius and aries a cancer strongly this could be the april month or the september month that you're dealing with or the january month Sagittarius Capricorn or Capricorn Aquarius season, or you could be dealing with the Pisces Aries season or Aries Taurus season. I feel very strongly here that a lot of you are dealing with somebody with cancer in their chart. Now, the action they're taking is they could be giving you a very deep emotions. This is the Hermit card coming in. Joy. Through spiritual growth be a lot to others answers that come through meditation a lot of you are going within and being wise in the situation and being a hermit basically when it comes to the situation it is getting dark out here guys so I'm gonna try to hurry and wrap it up
But somebody's going within, being wise when it comes to their emotions. And this is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So a lot of you are going to be communicating and getting wise to this communication when it comes to a love offer towards someone. And you're just going to get more in depth in knowing someone by communicating your emotions toward them. Now the outcome is the page of wands. Communication, like I said, there's communication coming in. A romantic communication, loving communication that's going to be coming in. A lot more loving, peaceful, harmonious kind of communication coming in in the near future of the outcome. The Five of Raphael, this is the Five of Cups, having disappointment. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. A lot of you need to search for the silver lining. You need to forgive. You may not necessarily forgive, but you'll forgive and you'll move forward in the situation with someone. You deserve love. You are lovable. A lot of you are feeling remorse, regret about a certain situation. On this right here, there needs to be a change of focus. The wisdom to reach out to loved ones. This, I forgot to tell you, is this Scorpio Mars energy card. But I feel like a lot of you are just trying to go within and just feeling sad because you thought something was going to be a certain way and it wound up being differently. But you got to realize that you, lo you deserve love. If someone done you wrong, you're starting to love yourself more and you're going to move forward from the situation. This person feels like a hangman. This person sees something in a different light. Sees things in a different way now. Something came to light and they can see something differently. And it could be because someone stood their ground. Here we have the magician. Somebody was being a magician of their... Manifesting their own emotions and dreams and desires. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. There is going to be successful beginnings in the outcome when this person sees something differently and they realize that they can manifest what it is they want. They can erase the negativity out of their life and put it to the wayside and bring in more positive outlooks in their life. That's when they become very blissful and happy in a situation. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Somebody got this in another message, and I think it was the Aries video that got it. But the person that you thought was your soulmate was not necessarily the one. You see your soulmate now. You see someone differently now, and you see them as your soulmate. The person that you may have thought that was your soulmate was not your soulmate. And your soulmate was there all along in front of you. You just didn't imagine that it could have been this person. This person may have become friends with you at first. And you guys got a strong bond from being becoming friendships. Having friendship first. Now let's see what the hidden oracle truth messages are for you guys. There's, there's one. Now I need one more. Three. What is the message for people watching this Virgo video on this side? Okay, there you go. Now over here we got... I am not over you. Somebody's not over you. You didn't see my tears. I needed security. Now over here on this side, somebody got, I love you unconditionally. I wish I could take back my words. I feel you leaving me behind. Now if you're in separation of your soulmate, this is the message for if you're in separation of your soulmate right now and you're not with this person. What is the message for the people watching this? Thank you. I'm going to take seven messages. I am lost in the world without you. It gets lonely. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You can see a side of me others don't. I can't hide from you. 
Deliver me from temptation. Life hasn't been too much nice to me, and I took that out on you. You will always have a special place in my heart. Nobody else can feel. You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days, I don't even understand. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you as a complete whole self. So this person really didn't love themselves. They were out for the, themselves in a selfish way. They didn't realize how to love themselves first. They were just too busy in their ego and wanting to have things in a selfish way, not a selfless way. And now that they see how love can truly be in a selfless way, they're wanting to be more like that now. You change this person in the way they see things because you left them because you loved yourself more. And you loved yourself first with the selfless kind of love, not the selfish kind of love. And it caused them to become a little different in the way they see love now. Now, one person got the soulmate message of, I am so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. Somebody got this before, I think in the overall message. Now this one says, I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond. Your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. Now we're going to get a twin flame message. And we're going to wrap up this message with this and an angel message. This side got Twin Flame 38, tears. Aww. The closer I move to me, the closer I come to you. My tears are an expression of who I am, in joy and in sorrow. From the well of my emotions, I release all things that don't serve my highest good. You are reminded of this, so let go and allow the tears to flow. Now this person got Healing Your Heart, Twin Flame number 40. By healing your heart first, your inner beauty is expressed in how you treat yourself and your twin and others. Okay, and that's your twin flame message. Now we're going to get angel messages. It's getting dark out here, guys. Let's get angel message for both sides. And we're going to end your message. Thank you. Here's one. Self-worth. For this side, we got self-worth. Self-worth bestows a sense of confidence, expectations of success, and ability to love. Decide on clear boundaries and limits, and firmly decline to let others step over them or manipulate you. You will earn respect. When you value yourself, you become open and friendly, slow to take offense, and quick to forgive. Remember yourself that you are likable and lovable. Do not let others press your buttons. Stand tall and confident. With your true self-worth, you're radiant in golden aura which enfolds others and makes them feel good too. Ask your angels to step into your aura and guide you. I am confident and worthwhile. What's the angel message for this side over here? Thank you. Your angel message is wisdom. Knowledge is learnt, but wisdom is the divine promoting you within. Your angel guidance is to connect to your still, quiet center and listen to the wisdom of your soul. Then you will take decisions and act from your own infinite self. With wisdom, life takes on a new perspective as dramas and fears becoming significant in comparison with the magnificent of the overall picture. Walk your path in life as one of the wise ones and all will revere and respect you. Affirmation. I'll listen to my wisdom. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And always remember, guys, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.